This video is specifically for my students at Colorado Mesa University. I'm going to show you how to render your video project in iMovie and then save it to the courses folder where I'll grade it. Here's our little test project that I made. You're going to go up to share and then go down to export movie. Click once on export movie and then name your project. Make sure it has your name in it and preferably the, the individual project's name too, such as a how-to project or other story. Then you're going to choose one of these HD formats, either HD 720 or HD 1080p. The 1080p is the highest possible quality. It's probably more than you'll need, but if you want to save it in the highest quality, you can certainly do that. I usually save it in 720p for this type of project. You also want to make sure you're saving to your desktop. It is possible to render directly to the courses folder, but things can go wrong in that process and it may not render correctly. Now you're going to click export. That goes through a rendering process and that converts your iMovie project into a video file that can be played in any video player. Once you're finished, you should see your video file on the desktop. You can double click on it and watch it if you'd like. When you're all finished with it, you come down to the courses folder on your dock. Now this will only appear on the lab computers um, here at Colorado Mesa University. You won't see this on your home laptop or other device. If you don't see the courses folder on the lab computers, such as the ones in, math, in uh, Fine Arts 308 or Fine Arts 301, you may need to log off of the computer and log back on, and then this uh, folder should appear. So we'll click on the courses folder, and here it comes. You should see this class, which in our case is Mass 142. Double click on that you'll see your class number, either you're in the 1 o'clock to, to 2 o'clock class, which is 001, or you're in the 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock class, which would be 002. Once you go into that folder, you'll see your students folder. In the students folder, you'll see your name. Now I see several names in here because I'm the teacher and I can see all of your files. But in this case, uh, you'll in my case, you'll see all of them, but in your case, you'll just see your name. Then you just click and hold and drag on your video file and just drop it right into that uh, courses folder. If it's a longer project, you'll see the little bar showing the progress of the move. When it's all finished, you're set. Just go ahead and close down and uh, you can do whatever you'd like to with this video file. I recommend saving it to a flash drive or something like that so you have a copy of it. Uh, but if you are totally finished with it, you can also move it down to the trash. That should show us, that should show you how to save things to the courses folder. Um, pretty much anything saves that same way, the difference being that in iMovie you render the project, in GarageBand you export it as a song file, uh, if it's a written file you just move the document directly to the courses folder. But that should do it. Uh, as always, contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.